Hello and welcome back to another episode of Transport Fever 2. In this episode, we're finally going to get goods running through this cargo hub. So between the last video and this one, I've gone through and like double checked, triple checked everything. And one thing that I never did in the line manager was to tell this train up at Durham to unload goods. So it was never picking up goods or requesting goods from the cargo hub because it couldn't unload them up here at Durham. So hopefully that fixes our problem and we should see in the next few minutes goods starting to be produced onto this platform here. So looking in this factory, we can see Durham is now starting to request goods from this factory. So now that that's finally sorted out, we'll hopefully begin seeing much more goods produced for the cargo hub line. And we can start shipping goods out on our other lines too. So as we've identified before, steel is sort of our main issue at the moment in terms of production for the goods factory. However, we are producing as much as we can here and still limited on our iron where we're bringing the max amount of iron into the steel mill. So that means we're going to have to source our iron from somewhere else. And I think probably the most reasonable area to get it from is over here one of these two iron ore mines. And I think we could bring it in by train, but I'm going to take a look and see if we can explore maybe some other options. So after taking a look at this for a little bit, I think our best option is going to be with trucks, as we have a pretty straight connection between this iron ore mine and the steel mill. And it just has to run on the outskirts of Murrieta, so it won't even hit much traffic doing this. So I'm going to go through, upgrade the roads, and straighten them out a little bit so that they're more optimized for heavy truck traffic. And then we'll come back when we're ready to place down the truck stops. Alright, so we've gone through and upgraded all of the roads from the steel mill here over to the iron ore mine. We've had to rework a few things like these bridges. Those were causing us issues, but we're able to come up with a little bit more of an elegant solution than we had before, where it's not so jarring with steep hills and weird curves. So this is much smoother, much bigger road. We do have this weird bit here but I'm going to leave that for now and see how much that impacts traffic. And then all of this was just straightened out and upgraded to a four lane road. So hopefully that makes traffic much easier and much simpler. And now all we need to do is just place down truck stop here and another truck stop right over here probably just across the street from the steel mill. So I believe we do have a road depot. Yes, right here. And this is a long route and we need a lot of iron. So we're going to need a good chunk of trucks for this. I think we'll go with 24 for now, we'll see, we'll see how that ends up shaking out with how much each one can carry and the time it takes. But this should be good. We'll make sure it's only picking up iron and it's unloading everything at the steel mill. So out comes our fleet of trucks. And those will slowly work their way around. And of course, all of this means that 
probably soon we'll need to upgrade our coal train at some point. As we are also running this one at max capacity. And our trains are picking up just enough, so I think we have probably the, like the perfect balance for trains and the coal production there. Finding coal might be a little tougher just because we don't have any really close to us. But we do have options. A lot of options over here, or maybe we could bring it in by boat. And then drop it off just outside of Murrieta here and then ship it up to the steel mill. But we'll explore those options if we see that coal is becoming an issue. So coming back to the goods factory, it looks like all of these numbers are slowly climbing as Durham is getting recognized even more. And if we look at this train, we can see it's picking up a small load of goods. So because it's only all going to Durham at the moment, these trains probably aren't going to be running full anytime soon. But if we look here, we are beginning to carry some of it up to Durham. Let's just see if any have actually made it up here yet, which not quite. So this train down here might be the first train carrying goods to Durham. All right, so now that we have goods reliably coming into the cargo hub, I think it's time we upgrade another one of our lines to carry goods. So right now, our options are either Toledo or Arlington. And I think looking at this Arlington train here, it does have a lot of empty cars. So I think what we can do is just manage the vehicle and replace it with something better and just change around the cars that it's using. All right, so here's the train we're going to go with. As we can see, looking at these resources here, it's not really using the last state car that it has. So we can get rid of one of those and add in another box car and that'll pretty much make this train more efficient so that it can carry even more on this line. So we'll manage it, make sure at the cargo hub it's also loading goods and then in Arlington it's unloading pretty much everything. So then the last thing we need to do is set up a goods line in the city here. So we'll need to place down a truck stop where all the goods are. And I think that'll probably be right here. Then we can just simply come in grab four trucks and then have them go from here up to the truck stop. All right, so this goods line is set up and hopefully we should soon see this train carrying some goods. I don't believe we have any waiting yet. We probably have to wait for the next load or two of goods to come in for that to update. But we do have goods coming in, so that's good. And we can see Arlington is being recognized at the goods factory now. So everything should be working pretty smoothly. Now I think some of our first trucks from the iron mine should be coming over. I believe this is the first one and that's carrying plenty of iron. And we have a bunch of trucks waiting, which is a good thing because that means that they will space 
themselves out on this whole line. And we can definitely see we still desperately need iron at the steel mill as our trains are only really running at half capacity. All right, and now the last thing I think we're gonna do is check in on this machines line and just make sure our boats are getting them. And it looks like it's carrying about half a load of machines pretty much every time a boat comes in here. And we can check this again just by seeing which boats have machines and a good good amount of them have machines. So that's good. That means that we're consistently getting those in at the cargo hub and everything should be running smoothly. All right, that's gonna be it for this episode. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. If you have any suggestions or feedback, leave a comment below. Thanks for watching and have a great day.